was behind it, one or the other. Alrighty. Jeez, we're, we're taking all those shackles, we're putting them in a barrel, and we're putting them out in the water. <laughs> That's going to be his second move after finding the chest. Just, where are the shackles? <laughs> Excuse me, sir, where are my shackles? What? <laughs> Alright. So, last time, investigation, scan, undo, well, you know, intense investigation. After uh, impersonating, invading, and finding some good old stuff in his home, Anders, yes. Uh, we're trying to find something a little more solid on the boy. Realizing that he's kept his nose pretty fucking clean, even in the uh, view of the mirror of what you've seen so far. You managed to find out that he was getting a drop off. And after dealing with the bard and impersonating him a little bit, he gave him some extra platinum to deceive him. Found that the chest itself was filled with dimensional shackles. <laughs> and then uh, also managed to find a confirmation report of something he wrote himself for the request from the Sapphire. Which hasn't been fully linked, but obviously there's some rumors sifting around that Captain Zenros was the one who clearly provided the said shipment. To which we are now coming back to after the chest was quickly buried near Anders' home. Right here, towards the fucking bay overlook. Yeah, she gave the gave her order to the bard. Also, yeah. I guess the question of whether or not she sourced it herself. Well, I mean, magic items are her specialty. As to what people do with said magic items, are their business. And Twitch. <laughs> the spider looks at you. <laughs> he says, "Oh yeah." It's canon. Every character that I ever make is a fear of spiders. Yeah. Well, how do you feel about this? <laughs> oh God, it's huge! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> and then I activate my ultimate kaiju. Elk. <laughs> those, are, those are also cool. I killed the spider. And now. And now it's time for extra sick tiefling! Horse, get her! <laughs> okay. So. Uh, early morning. Fox does mention. What? Did we ditch the shackles already? Uh, and the shackles, I would imagine, have been ditched since Athlon would dump them in the harbor upon request. Ghost kept one. Ghost went to deal with business. Mako, well, Fox said he saw some, uh, Mako with someone walking towards the forest. It looked like that noble dude. <laughs> he went out on business. It's true, he is the easiest to run out. <laughs> I have to slay some puss. Excuse me. <laughs> you know that that Zola guy. Vampire? He's what? No. Well, he is. All right. Um. He's here. 
Yeah. Oh well, yeah, but he shouldn't have been able to come in the house. Did, did you let him in? I mean, it's rude not to. Oh. Uh, uh, what, what did he do after he came in the house? Talk to Mako. Uh huh. They left together. She was really relaxed. It was really weird. Folks, you, you know you meant to uh, talk to me before you let people into our house, right? No, I, what? When? I am always awake. When was that or all? How did he get through the house without being noticed? Stuff hands. I mean, do you remember how he appeared behind us? Uh, I mean, I don't. How else are you usually like supposed to be sneaky? Uh, and no, I, I don't remember that root cut. The only time I met him was uh, at the bar. Oh, that's right. You didn't come with us when we found him originally, did you? No, I, I wasn't there when you met him. Yeah, um, we went down a one-way passageway and he appeared behind us, so he's uh, very fast or he's on the telephone or something. Well, that's a little concerning. Um, yeah, it is. Honestly, it's really not with this music. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very relaxed atmosphere in here. <laughs> it really is, hey. <laughs> I think we need to stop the chill jams. What? No! <laughs> 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 I like the magic. Also, only apparently plays this one song. I can't get it to turn off. I think we just need to uh, zap. No! No! You killed it! <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, I'll get you a replacement later. Okay? It was so good. Uh, look, from now on, Fox, at least check with someone else before letting strangers into the house, please. Alright, who's a, who's a stranger? Someone that you don't know. So anyone Fuck, you I don't rolled know. too high. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I think that vampire might have kidnapped her. I don't remember what happened to Deidre. I mean, she she wasn't like resisting. She she looked like like that that weird what do they call it? The, 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 the. Whatever you guys. Whatever you guys call it when you're not just fucking someone. Dead. <laughs> yeah, dead. I thought it started with an F, but all right. Well, I mean, just remember what happened to Pedro when the uh, vampire did something to her. She was kind of all woozy, really tired looking. Yeah, she knew what a vampire was, but she didn't do anything about it. She didn't even tell us all night. Like Mind controlled. Yes. I mean, on Deirdre it wore it, it wore off, and then she told us everything. So if it was like that, mind control. No, I mean, but then she just snap out of it, didn't she? I think she would just snap him. Yeah, I mean, that is a good point. I mean, she probably would just kill him. I mean. There's no Mako, there probably isn't much to worry about. When it wears off, uh, she's going to get very angry. Yeah, or maybe, maybe she just really wanted to go with him. I mean, it's not like it's impossible. She did disappear for seven weeks after all. Maybe she had a change of heart. No clue. Do you know which way they went? Oh. To the forest. Like, up, up the Kingfisher River. I mean, 
ghost left with the scrying orbs. Just find it like that. <laughs> I mean, he did wrench it against his own life. I think he has the right to take it with him. I suppose that's fair. Fox goes up to Asher and she's like, Are you a vampire? Pretty keen on that basement. <laughs> uh, I thought about being a vampire, but, but after a long deliberation, I decided against it. Hmm. Alright then. <laughs> so, well, anyways, um. Anyway, so the past few days of investigations. Hopefully what we've done has a good chance of turning them against each other, although I don't know how many days they're going to be before they know this. I mean I buried the chest pretty shoddily in his backyard. So you can notice something's buried there, but he has to actually see the chest, doesn't he? So I can only assume he has somebody who can try to locate stolen goods that he describes because I can do a similar magic and I can find the chest. If you want to frame him, yeah, you can just ask him if he needs any help or something. You can find the chest for him. Well, you see, that's the other major issue is that he already distrusts me. He already witnessed me and the, the original six and now plus Marco. Uh, we we already doesn't trust him or suspicious of him. Find the chest for that person instead. Much more solid plan, uh, other than us throwing shackles and thread around that burying the chest in his backyard. Well, is there anybody that distrusts him or you want to just distrust him? Well, a lot of the higher. Well, they mostly suspect Scare, and is the one who's in it until now we have no evidence on. But it was involved in something fucking shifty. Or do we want to get him arrested, or do we want to get him killed? I mean, I prefer to see them arrested, but I feel that the track I've set them on's probably That's what I was planning to do with scan, because we already know where he meets and I can just turn into a different person. Although I don't really know what oh well, who's his who's his partner? Well, alright, think about it like this. If scan and all those are working together, what if they're actually business rivals? What if they happen to be trying to trade the same thing? I bring all those shackles to the Red Cliffs meeting down at the docks. So, you buried the, you buried the chest in Scarab's backyard, right? Yes. So, Anders may be feeling like this Anders. Anders may be thinking that Scarab double crossed him, right? Yeah. So, we could approach.
Oh, right, I can see where you're going with that, Ron. Well, first of all, Anders has been far too careful. The only reason we had a hint that he was involved in this was in here. He would imply we've been stalking for way too long, and we actually know what he's doing this. Well, we could just have insider information. We're just gonna, like, lie and hold all our cards up and say we have insider information. Like yeah, that is a good point. What did you say? What if he can see through it? Do I get caught out like something? Words. Sorry. Turn the book up again, I'm not. Ah, yes. Well, mostly I'm heavily concerned because what, what Anders was hoping to transport really high grade magical shackles for that teleportation, which is strange that you want so many of them. several shipments of this size before. And he talked about business being driven by the paid for the purpose so we get drunk. Uh, I, I don't like it. Does dimensional shackles uh, prevent the person that's shackled from teleporting? Or, prevent, or does it also prevent the person in shackles from being teleported? Uh, both. So effectively the person in the shackles from teleporting and being teleported. Information and we understand 
Arms Telescope to know of what they're doing. If we want them to be, we want the police to be able to do anything about it, they need physical proof. And if we need to do something about it, then just take the mouse and be sufficient. You don't know, I mean, I'm perfectly fine for a certain occasion the latter option, but I want to be sure we cut the out of it. Joining them seems to be the. Uh, it's not the necessarily the least risky, but. It seems to be the quickest way of ensuring that we gather on information. Yeah, I mean, I'll consider it, but you know, I'm see how much I can change my face. I can just go and see the scans, red flags, and see if they do. Exactly. Yeah, but anyway, so let's go over to the captain of the guard and see if he knows anything about the same people. Alrighty, so... You'll be able to find a lander tending to most matters at the Wool Watch Tower currently. This is a large shipment of silver that's about to be set out now. Is it, like, what kind of, what state is the silver in? Uh, it is raw silver. So, the ingots and all are fresh melted down, but uh, nothing that's been really fully minted. It's just raw ingot that's been quick melted for transport. So it's like really like bar shapes? Mm-hmm. But, uh, <coughs> as you bring that to Alander's attention, he'll uh, look to you uh, curiously and tell the other guards to uh, go and tend to other matters. <coughs> We've recently run into some issues with some people vanishing from near the mines. We're really? having some heavy preparations and worry that... Uh, Especially with all this going on, that even though the Sahagin are still a prominent issue in kidnapping people, that we think some smugglers or other pirates are possibly planning an attack on the transport of the silver ship as soon as it leaves port. Well, we have an issue with pirates while you're transporting the FO. Because of the dragon in the redwood, as well as some issues we have been currently having with giants as well. Unfortunately, the pirates are much, well, tame risk compared to the latter. A little bit, if you would be willing. Oh, I mean, <laughs> what do you do? Oh. If anything, I would ask you to go and check out the silver mines. See if uh, there might be anyone who looks suspicious or out of place amongst the rest.
bunch of spiders again. <laughs> <laughs> Spider! <laughs> Six swords in hand and a flintlock. <laughs> the spider is strapped. <laughs> ninja spider. Teenage mutant ninja spiders. Alright. Oh, definitely. Anyway, I'll bring Fox, otherwise, we get in trouble this time. <laughs> I want to kill Stuff Cow! <laughs> the mine's close by the town, isn't it? Like, it's not that far away. Yeah, I mean, that's not that bad. Because it was like a few days to the house, so. <laughs> like I'll get somebody to watch the chickens. Yeah, so I was going to suggest getting someone to watch the chickens. Just make one of them woke. Make one of the chickens woke, just the red eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually. They, they were already made. Huh. Regular chickens. Or <laughs> <Or> chicken. <laughs> 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 chicken and then animal friendship on chicken. Make sure you're you're in charge for today. Watch the little chicken. Man, Man fuck you! Imagine, <laughs> you're like babysitting, but you have no arms. <laughs> that would be a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jerry, come on over here. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't have any arms. <laughs> you don't need your dumb ass. <laughs> you don't have a brain. <laughs> oh. How oh, come you? I'm defeated, man. I didn't mean it. Come back here! Alright. So. Definitely easy enough to uh, go and inform the old man that he'd be leaving to feed the chickens for a day. So. As Fox is uh, ecstatic to be heading out with all of you. Easily pass by the old, air quote, haunted house. Which, uh... With a lot of dead bandit corpses in its cellar. As you're, uh... As you're going by the old haunted house, so... <laughs> you swear you could see someone in the window. Person who sees her. They just kind of stare at you as you pass by. Obviously, you get to bed down for the day. You can see a good portion of ships heading in and out of Salt Marsh. One that looks like the larger transport ship. That would be for the silver coming in to talk. Looking out over the cliffs, you can easily see into the distance of the ocean that trade is going a lot better than expected. There's still quite a fair amount of people heading in and out of this port even though there's some rumors some clearly not believing that the uh, Kraken had shattered the stones and others who had not burned witness to it others saying that it's just from the storm a lot of people still freaked out about leaving so as it's very quickly turned into a trade town Yep. Yeah. Hmm, I guess that does make sense. 
minutes and it's not right next to Saul. So. And uh, so you can see the various houses that are quickly set up, some in the rock face and all. But. We just make like a hobbit house out of stone. Basically, a small dwarven village that's protected by the salt marsh and also controlled by salt marsh. Right. So, as you kind of start entering into this small townhouse, well, town mine sections, see, quite a few are. Pretty jovial. Some that are helping load up a uh, good amount of silver ingots, and others that are sectioned off. A lot of the miners are now allowed near the smelting process, and ones who are pouring out the silver bars because they've already been paid, and they don't want anyone getting sticky fingers while they're there. But as you kind of do walk into the town, you do get a few dirty, begrudging looks from the other dwarves. You know, curious as to uh, why you're even here because this is their kind of business. But a few other traders are more than happy to see you. Some are welcoming you, others that are beckoning and asking if uh, you can see one who looks to be a very, very pale individual. He looks almost clammy and sweaty. He very clearly hasn't bathed in a very long time. As, as he can, kind of disgusting man. <laughs> as he uh, as he catches sight of your group, he uh, quickly tries to beckon you. Are uh, uh, ladies, sirs, uh, would you be interested in fine silver jewelry or even cutlery? I have fine works here. <laughs> I've come straight for the source, and I've heard that this place is probably some of the purest silver on the Sword Coast. Every noble needs their finery, of course. And clearly you have fine tastes, I'm sure. That's why you've come here. Salt Marsh's council mainly pertains to the matters around here, but as far as I know, the Carpalock family is the one mostly responsible for making sure that all of these fine traders don't get r rowdy while others are visiting. Of course, of course. Lady Carpalux's main cabin is over there. Uh, you could tell her that uh, Kimilk is, well, helping guide others around more steadily. I assume that's you, and I'll put in a good word for you, sure. <laughs> he nods and quickly goes to start trying to peddle and broker other deals with their dwarfs who are heavy with silver pouches and looking to trade between them. So. Oh, they're making silver coins. <laughs> oh, Fox is looking around e eager to kill shit. <laughs> 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 
god, what kind of dirty glares is <laughs> What? Why do you think you guys got such dirty fucking looks from the start when you walked into town? <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize it at first. I was like, you don't look that weird. Like, oh, it's another town. <laughs> <laughs> Who's armed about? An armed kobold that's looking to kill people. Yeah. <laughs> it's not <laughs> sus at all. Our totally legit. Fucks. Maybe turn down the intent to kill so they don't throw us out of the town before you can't kill anything. What? This is such a weird cobalt. Alright, alright. Why am I weird? It's because I'm smart, right? No, it's because you're not running away all the time. You're just actively seeking out the fight. It's really strange. I mean, I tried to run away from you initially. You did. I feel like we may have been a bad influence on him. I don't know what you mean. Well, we've seen him fight. I think he's earned his ego. <laughs> what? Ego? Well, uh... As you get to the main Copper Lux cavern, you can see uh, Menestred, who is uh, walking around, barking out orders to a couple other people, making sure to get the cannons ready, make sure they have enough powder infused to also double check that the hold has enough keys and it has the locks that had been requested for the hold. When uh, she sees your group, she kind of gives out a a little bit of a sigh. <clears throat> so what have you brought along? Go on. What are you here for? Uh, um. Yeah. Um, Ooh. As she uh, quickly jerks her head to one side and lead you into the cabin. Come on. Yeah. Right. A, not a public discussion. So, as she walks into the cabin with you, quickly closes it, puts the heavy bolt on. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we with privacy. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> I know about spelunking, but not this. Not this. No. <laughs> 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 a chair and have a tankard. Then she goes and pulls out a map and lays it down for the few few mine shafts that have been dug out already. There's been some disappearances here and here. One of the mines in the well one of the mine shafts recently collapsed over here, which seems pretty irregular because we made sure to put some extra supports there. That was the point where some people had gone missing. And it wasn't just from the collapse because we managed to clear it out and we didn't find anything. So what you're saying is that the mine collapsed irregularly and then people went missing and went to the wreckage. Some that were supposed to be in the wreckage for that mine shaft, a good team of ten, gone. Not even a blood stain. Not even a broken axe. Hmm. Do you have any yeah. trouble wobbling in the mines so that aren't dangerous creatures in them at all, or is it just... Uh, we haven't broken into any other deeper chambers yet. There's always the risk of that possibility, which is why we have the uh, 
stout guard down below. That's just in uh, emergencies though. That's uh, not for long attrition. But it is curious that a reinforced mine shaft was uh, completely collapsed. Do you have any descriptions of uh, any people that have been missing? That I do. So, the first one on the list here, that's Glina. She is, uh, uh, she was one of the elder leaders on the excavation. Harder than steel. You definitely recognize her by her silvery hair. Another fellow, Emram. He's one of our heftier fellows. He had, uh, well, a really nice adamantine axe, or well, pickaxe. Yeah, he, uh, he would have been. Indeed, it did. He was one of our greatest diggers, and not even the pickaxe remained, which is why most people were curious as to what really happened. As that. Something like that doesn't just get up and walk away. Uh, let's see. We also have uh, Fardrick, and he. Uh, <coughs> he's mostly the one who would like to bring in a good couple of barrels and tankards with him. Uh, the more blonde-esque hair, more of a gold shimmer. Probably a little more difficult to tell after a couple of days digging down here. The silver makes you look like you're well, older than me, Nan. But for the uh, other such more burned, another miner. <laughs> There's a, also a thickum, one of the main watch watch guards. He was a pretty good shot with his crossbow. Seemed to have vanished at some some point down in the mine, along with the team. Yeah, just a couple miners, a few guards just on the regular team and of course the being the point was uh we had some guards just in case we found something curious down there, but uh even the guards gone, not even a, a scrap. It's the first time this has ever happened. Uh, considering the sections, yeah. First time for this mine run into such such things for other mines but uh not this in particular. What do you typically mine down there? Well silver, but we do find the occasional gems. For that branch that was collapsed there's well there was a pretty prominent amount of gems. I do say was. One of the bags of twenty there was a good stack up there. Only 19 were left over. Out of 20, this left. They're pretty heavy, trust me. No, I know. I just implies that the actual fact. Oh, It's pretty quick grab too. It wasn't even from the uh, ends or anything. It was like smack in the middle. Hmm. If you're uh, looking for anyone in particular that might have a little more guidance or even might have spotted something, hopefully, 
Ah, uh, well. Heroic Gold Jumper. It's one of the taskmasters that handle which the mine shafts are going to be open for digging. I know he's been seeing a few shadows here and there, but I think I'm uh, more inclined to believe him a little bit more. Even saying that some of the other caves that we've been opening up to have been uh, opened up before, or lightly hidden away by something else. I would definitely be careful, especially with your tiny friend there. A lot of people would be looking to slug his head in first. I'll mean, hey. I'll hurt Rick, but uh, if they do that, they'll die, so. That's fair enough, I'm just warning you. Alright. I've got armor. I'm just waiting for a dwarf to try to hit him, get a natural run, then Fox like turn red him instantly. Nanny! Uh, there's always a, a few cheeky bastards who think they can undercut the gems that they find. You know, slip a few extra in their pocket or boot or something. But we're usually pretty keen on it, but, you know, it's kind of hard to keep track of them all. That's why we usually have our taskmasters. Definitely not. Not until we can at least get a more you know, solidified system supported. As we step outside, um, probably so I'm not so close to the main central buildings, so everybody starts freaking out that I'm using magic. Uh, I'd like to cast Locate Object on Adamantine Pickaxe. <laughs> Alrighty. So. Works within a thousand feet. Do you have to, like, see it or anything? No. In the description, it says that I can locate the nearest specific object of like a certain type like I mean if there's more than one adamantine pickaxe I'd pick that up it's for real estate because <laughs> like I mean if there's more than one of them I'm going to locate the closest one so I'm just assuming this might be singular enough that if it's still around there's probably only one or two in the town so You sense this object, but it's underground. It's still in the mine. Huh. Hey guys, I can feel his pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, feel it. <laughs> Why are you all laughing at me? I want a pickaxe. You know what, Fox? If we find it, it's yours. Yes! 
Well, if you can feel it, maybe we can find out where it is. Oh, man. It could lead us to the missing people. That, that was my hope. I don't think I'll be able to read the spell again. You know the direction of its movement. Okay. Uh, object Direction to the object's location. This has been a thousand feet deep, so. I can just mm. kind of sense, like, its general direction. It's, like, down diagonally from me. Mm hmm. Down into the caves. Alright, then I'll make a mental note of that direction. And then let's go talk to him so we can go get into the mines. Ready. So, as you start searching around for this uh, taskmaster, you're easily able to spot him out at the front of the mines, or at least you assume it's him. You can hear a few people call immediately calling out gold for, uh, yeah him to come on over and check the amount of weight and make sure that they're getting their proper cut before they can head off and have some drinks. As a or uh or go jumper kinda looks to you. Um if business, are you looking to join the diggers team? Uh in Dwarvish I will stick out my hand and say uh, good afternoon. You can, you can see he kind of furrows his brow a little bit in surprise. Huh? Evening. Gold jumper. Um, we were tasked by Salt Marsh with locating the missing people. I see. That's more of a comfort to hear than th that they're gone. Uh, they probably will be not looking too great. That was a while ago. We might be a little bit in the look. Well, let's just be safe while going down there. Uh, hold on. Yeah, we'll go to his uh, little podium desk where he has his balances and scales. I don't want anyone having a fuss while you're down there. He goes to hand each of you badges and he kind of like. Gives a bit of an eyebrow towards a uh, fox. <laughs> He's with us. Don't worry about it. You keep yeah, keep an eye on that one. He'll uh, slowly get a hand fox the, the badge. <laughs> uh, watches him carefully. I just wish Fox was like a rogue. He just like throws a knife at him. <laughs> gotcha, dwarf scum. <laughs> it's mine now. Oh boy. Tunnel snakes rule over the tunnel snakes. So as you start to follow into these depths, you can see that a few dwarfs are, you know. Like, immediately come to a stop and they're like looking at Fox with like shock and horror. <laughs> What's going on here? How, like a dwarven culture like faux pas is this to bring the kobold into the dwarf mine? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the worst fucking idea in history. Yeah, that's about what I expected. We should have gotten him like a little mask. <laughs> oh, that's definitely not a cobo. <laughs> that's not a cobo. That, that's my that's my cousin, the slightly shorter dragon. 
Alrighty. And as you go to start heading down into these depths, you can see that uh, aside from the very judgmental dwarfs and such, that there are a fair amount of humans here as well now. Uh, the further you start moving in, you can tell that they've probably been here a fair amount of time. Probably not anywhere near as much as the dwarfs, but uh, they look more recent. Probably ex-fishermen. That, kind of, that almost makes me feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> just, just almost. Just almost. Considering how easy their life probably was as a fisherman, they probably like could like wake up and like barely work and come back with like sixty fish. Because there's so many damn fish in the water. <laughs> probably didn't even use a rod. You probably just used a net and beat over the side of the ship. Alrighty, so let me quickly slap all of you guys onto the map. Oh no, not a, not a new map. We'll kill a baby. <laughs> More baby killing. No, guys, it's fine. I don't have any light. The GM demands a baby to be killed. That's never stopped. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you going fucking soft on me? the point where fucking strange. <laughs> that was the point where I was just like what are you going soft on me <laughs> yes <laughs> I'll cut you <laughs> don't make me sing you that song again what you fucking no no <laughs> alright let me bump you guys over I'll pull your hair. I mean, not into that, okay. No, I mean, like, say so you're at my level. The fuck are you on about? That far off the level. Yeah, Athlon is really <laughs> short. It's yeah, Athlon is small. <laughs> like, 410 of it. Yes. Jeez, Athlon is small. <laughs> is it the average height for a fucking triton? It's five foot, I'm like, alright. Let's be a couple inches shorter than that. That sounds like fun. Smallest person in party. Oh, Josh, I recognize this map, <laughs> you monster. <laughs> Alright, so, as yeah. you go past the main shafts, going past a couple of the digger teams, you come upon one of the main caverns. You can sense the pick is further ahead. Looking over the main ravine here with the two crystals that overhang it. You can see as to what Copper Locks is mentioning that they haven't found anything yet that had been causing issues. But you can see that there are dirt tracks leading up the main crystals. You should be. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's, he, they see our home, Mishi. But as you kind of look around, you can see all these beautiful amethyst crystals and all assortment of clusters around. You can see why the dwarfs have been adamant about going around and digging everything and why they're so excited. See, Fox is like going over to this one and trying to pull the crystal out of the wall. What? What? You're right. He pulls out a short sword and starts trying. You got a point. I'll wait till later. 
tag a hole in but just a crystal. Yeah, I mean <laughs> God, the crystal's almost as tall as me. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> hmm? Um, okay, so like, what, what direction is the, is the pickaxe coming from? Across the ravine or inside the ravine? Uh, across the way. Okay. I was going to say, I really do hope it isn't inside the ravine. That sounds like the way you die in any horror movie. <laughs> I'm gonna go down. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, no. I like okay. So if I went down first, I would die. Then the second person would come down and get the item, and then almost die. And then everybody else that was left up at the top would die to another monster. So the only person that's safe is the second one that goes down. <laughs> Obviously, Fox is the MVP. Um, this doesn't look very safe. I don't know what you mean. first? Yes. Get your ass across the <laughs> I didn't realize that this was a... Well, I didn't realize this was a contest, but I mean... Look, I know I will fall and die, so... Uh, I'm, I'm just checking which animal I feel like using. A spider would be a good choice, but then i just waste a wild shape. Yeah. I'm trying to find something that, uh... That doesn't have a climb speed? Are you kidding me? I mean, I was just gonna because since I can just turn into something with a climb speed, I was just tying the rope for you guys. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm I'm the safe. Unless you just want me to just bring the rope to the other side, then you can just you know do it that way. Uh, I mean, you can pick this tie and stuff. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. So, um, how stable does the crystal look out of 10? Like, does it look like a load bearing crystal? Out of 10, especially for how many footprints have gone uh, gone across it and the dirt tracked across it, it looks like you could probably jump on it and it wouldn't even budge. Okay. I mean, I'm just testing before I turn into a bear to cross it. Jump on it. Doesn't move. Bear Ruka will just use his climb speed to just go. Uh, when you get towards the end here, you can see that uh, the dirt looks quite heavily disturbed. Like, let me, all in this area here. Like heavily disturbed how? Like it's been pur purposely kicked around. As if somebody was trying to cover the fact that they, like, they realized after they got across the crystal, oh shit, I'm leaving tracks. 
a mix of that and also just kind of like kicking up the dirt strangely can I make so like a perception check to see if I think there's anything wrong with that sure investigation or perception definitely not better at perception alright um, so as you kind of study the dirt for a moment You take notice that the dirt around the area is definitely kicked up and it leads closer to these crystals. You can see that there's a rope around one of the crystals. And the rope leads into the dirt. Oh, so it's probably a trap. Mm. You think very likely that... Uh, some kind of foot snare in, to drag you into the ravine. Damn, that's pretty good. Um, well, I will just, uh, since I have a climb speed, I will just go around it. I'll just clamber along the fucking side of the rocks. What? Right. Get over to here. So you do the, this slow clamber. Everyone just kind of looks at you like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then the bear will turn back around and use its amazing speaking voice. <clears throat> Somebody trap her. I'm gonna have to do that for a while. Um, somebody trapped the other end of the crystal with a foot snare to kill you. So, um, you guys should probably try to come across over here. Uh, yeah, I guess I fall. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, so while I'm on this side, I should probably go around and uh, attempt to disarm the snare because I mean, considering I weigh this much, I don't really think the snare could possibly drag me in from that angle. <laughs> I mean, I think, like, just toss a rock in it and it'll just... How, how does a foot snare even work? Am I, am I mentally picturing this wrong? For this one, the premise of it is strange. Mm -hmm. But you also think that it's from the way the dirt would be disturbed and the way they've set it for the pressure. Okay. Is it like a rock or something nearby? That I can uh, just drop in it? Right. So... For that, easily drop a rock in it. Doesn't seem to budge, but you definitely see that the rope is there. So, <laughs> go ahead and roll me. Well, actually, uh, go ahead and roll me a sleight of hand. Just dropping a rock on it. I mean, how is this slight of hand? Yeah, <laughs> because yeah. yeah. you, you see the rope, but go ahead, go go for it. Throw it slide. Okay. Okay. <laughs> As expected, when a bear drops a rock. <laughs> on the rope. All right, so. uh <laughs> It's it's not the prettiest thing in the world. But, um, you get to at least go off, you almost get your paw dra dragged along with it, so, uh, go ahead and just make me a quick, uh, strength saving throw. Oh, good bear gets to make this one. Bear, 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 bear. There. Oh. Not very good. Uh, uh, so, effectively, your paw is a little stuck. You'll manage to catch the crystals when you get to them because you get dragged up to here as the rope was meant to catch the rock jerks loose on it, the very light teeter that it was set upon. But it's not heavy enough for it to break your grip, but a lesser person or someone with less weight would be immediately whipped off the edge into the middle. <laughs> from a very awkward angle. 
Um, but you can tell very clearly that somebody is not going to be followed. A second one activates. <laughs> 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 You quickly go over and you can see that the the one rock was uh, definitely the only one there, but no. it is stable and safe. Even though yeah. looks safe, yeah. The bear wipes his brow. <laughs> there can be only one. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, help me! I <laughs> 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 looks pretty spooky. No, I found the trap and I still almost died. God, I miss all the... He sprung the trap. Well, I mean, nobody else can climb along the rocks like a bear can, so... You know. It's true. Also, um, we should keep our voices down, because that could be the case of somebody's here. That's not going to be forward. Creeping along. You may proceed. I guess I'm all going first. Bear. <laughs> Moving further, and you can see that a lot of these gems are completely untouched. The larger crust clusters, however, though still fairly sizable, are missing chunks. Looks like larger pieces that have been torn off or tossed away. Others that have kind of been littered across the floor and crunched up into smaller pieces almost forcefully. Does it look like an animal did that sort of look like? I, mean, I guess actually asking if an animal did it seems kind of pointless considering there was an obviously man-made trap back there. <laughs> 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 huh. Yeah, what about what if a deer set that trap? <laughs> huh. <laughs> but uh, go ahead and roll me in nature if you want. Damn. <laughs> With a no modifier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so looking at this, especially in the factor of it being a mineral, which is a, a strange situation. These look like tooth marks in some of them. See, I almost brought it's an animal. But that's an awesome person, but we'll take them at home. Alright, so, um, Team Vote, do you think he's feeding it? Do you think he fed the people on some of that? Or do you think he's been being kidnapped? Uh. Go ahead and give me a intelligence check, a history check, or even an arcana. Ooh. Yeah. All right. So, uh, especially from the arcane fields, you have a slight inkling that this is a particular type of earth elemental from the actual plane itself, the realm of earth. That 
feasts upon gems and is actually adamantly adamantly seeks them out sometimes to devour them. It's their sustenance. Kind of like how you would pluck an apple from a tree and eat it. This thing does the same with clustered to gems. And if it is... Yep, it looks reminiscent of what you've learned in those fields of magic and that those kind of earth elementals, their clay is extraordinarily strong, hardens very fast sometimes when killed right, and is actually very useful in many of things like the jug of alchemy. No, like kiln the clay that has come from it to make magical objects. Oh, okay. Like you take his remains and you throw it in the kiln. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I was confused there. I was like, damn, it's like some fire plane, earth plane crossover right here. <laughs> A uh, another prime example is the sending stones. Magical clay like that is highly valued. Crystal will not dial your number, but something else will. It's fine. It's not like it's a giant spider. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> To literally breathe spiders to survive. I'm sorry. <laughs> the oxygen is spiders. <laughs> I think uh, anyone would die mentally with that shit going on. Like, just the thought of like, oh yeah, you have to breathe spiders. What? <laughs> There's no such thing as blood cells. It's tiny little spiders that can't. <laughs> <It's a good laughs> Tiny spider cells that suck in oxygen and then inject it, like poison, into the next section to keep your body healthy. Yeah, that's the other thing, though, is that it's just like our reality, just like everything else is spiders. It's Arby's. <laughs> I'm grabbing him. Don't worry. He's, he's scooping up. The Earth Elementals, they come. Oh, they, they all got the same initiative as me. <laughs> oh, no, that was Fox, never mind. Yeah. Alrighty. Asher, you can see the Earth heaves and comes to life standing up. 
some of the crystals embedded into its rocky crags. And it's looking at you. Almost angrily that you've disgur disturbed this crystal grove. Oh jeez, that both of us hit. Good lord. A solid hit. You can see two chunks of rock getting blasted off and scattering across the crystal grove. Cold. Gonna try and slam jam two times. And natural twenty and a twenty-five. No. This is why we don't bring Fox anyway. This is why Fox shouldn't have to pick up crystals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well he's just been telling people gone missing because of crystals. For forty damage. Oh. <laughs> Thing comes around the corner and just whoo, cold cocks him across the face. Oh, oh no, he's coming over to crack open a cold one. He's gonna slam the bear once and then turn around and reach out with a long, elite, elongated clay arm to hit Asher as well. Uh, Bear is it AC is 17? Yeah. Alright. Um, we'll just miss you, and then we'll miss Asher as well. So it just whips these arms around. <laughs> you can see the arms extending out, reaching for you. Emily. Fucking Christ, even if he made it, he just kind of looked at you like, what kind of crap was that? <laughs> the ones! Is that damage roll right? It doesn't look very right. <laughs> the three ones! That is like so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I think that he's right there. That's definitely a first. That's an amazingly low damage roll. That is a really big surprise there. Uh, on the section. Yes, not my day. 
It's a, it's a rough day. It's a rough day. Well, you'll be, you'll be leaving its threatening reach, so I'll try and slam you. Oh god, it has reach. <laughs> Look at its face. That, that face definitely has reach. Well, it definitely missed you with its own 11. Fox is not looking so hot. Not look too happy, he's actually bleeding profusely out of his nose. Just fucking domed right in the face. So he's gonna try and strike him with the shiny sword. Oh no. Oh no! Copy that roll! No. This is a lot of a lot. <laughs> That's what this is. <laughs> Alright, so I guess he'll action surge. Cause fucking god that this knight is cursed. Yes. No. That's a lot of one. Eleven piercing. <laughs> Still manages to get that eleven in there, but it's Whew, that's rough. <sighs> Fuck me, Rook. These boys aren't supposed to be this hard. <laughs> Alright, okay, Baruka. Baruka! Okay, the bear's gonna go for the, 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 the attack on this old boy. We'll, we'll go for the bite on an earth elemental. Oh, what? That went better than a sword strike. It definitely hits. I am magical because I'm a level you It's slightly it's slightly less awful than biting into it with, you know, biting into solid stone with a naked teeth. <laughs> and then a 17 to hit the second attack. Uh that will just make it. 14 slashing. You start to see this thing break and crag. It's bloodied as it's Rumbling around, trying to get you to leave this grove. <laughs> I was gonna try negotiation, but I just remembered I just hit him twice, so no negotiation was that. <laughs> Anger. <laughs> we, are, we are not your foes. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I am on your side. Snaps off his leg. <laughs> <laughs> Stop for such a rat! The snake! And, it's, oh, and the party does. Yes! Like the 10 you can, oh. the other one is already a fail. Did the 17 hit? He'll just hit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Come back. What kills the party? Two earth elementals. What's up, bro? We're not bad, they're just that good. <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck it, let's just...
let's just action surge and hit him again because, you know, I mean, I'd rather he die than Fox. Yeah? Yeah? None of those? No. Nope. Mm-hmm. As long as you get that nice dispel. The seventeen will work, so go ahead again. <laughs> Fucking god. This night. Okay. Actually, things have gone so horribly wrong. I didn't do it. You touched the gems, didn't you? No. Nope. He's got a whole pocket full. Oh, God. There you go. Let's start desiccating Earth. I'm still standing, gonna earth fist your face. This boy, he's gonna try and slap Fox and Death one. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, it's 27 and a 27. <laughs> so he'll hit you for 12 bludgeoning and Fox for 10. And then his little brother over here who is reaching for the stars is going to try and slap the bear and slap Asher. Slap the bear. Uh, well, he'll miss the bear, but then turn around and backhand Asher somehow with 24 to hit. <laughs> it's not just a bear. Was that 12 damage for Yes. Yes, you get. Uh, fuck me. For, uh, it's Asher for 19 bludgeoning as she gets smacked into some crystals. These are supposed to be ice answered. You did not very well last time, so I'm going to try and top my bonus action with the focus of when the frost starts to form on my hand. It also spreads up uh, this creature's leg. I cast called embrace. So it is cursed. Fuck him up. And then. Unfortunately, that will miss as you <laughs> off the harder part of its body. <laughs> you have a plus ten. What the fuck is going on? Is, uh, he's gonna try. Don't you give up on me, Fox? We got this. Yes! <laughs> He'll stack on his superiority day. Oh. 
god, yes. <laughs> yes, do it just like it. That extra D8. Oh, fuck, stop. Finish him. <laughs> nice. Limit break. <laughs> For a solid 16 damage. <laughs> Ruka. <laughs> Berenstein, bite. Oh, that was a bad Berenstein Oof. bite. Sadly not. How about the Berenstein claws? Who's 16? Mm -mm. Just short. No! I got a double six. I got three sixteen. <laughs> This is a very cursed D and D session. <sighs> I do not have anything else I can do, so I end my turn. Already. Athlete. <laughs> yeah. It's your turn. Just get hit. No. Uh, the twenty-one will hit. Bloody and starting to fall apart. The rocks and crags. He's cracking. Asher. <laughs> the devil. Oh my god. Fucking melting this boy with your laser beams. Just see blast after a blast. <laughs> Earthy boy. One god at Fox and one god at Athlet. Alrighty, so uh, the 19 will just hit you. Fox is gonna parry the 21. Uh, and Athlet will take 13 bludgeoning damage. Yes, because of the heavy arm. Yeah. Alrighty, and then new spore. Slapping the bear and slapping Asher. The bear. Twenty four hit. That hits the bear. You will take nineteen bludgeoning. Turn uh. turns around and tries to slap Asher. Hits for the another twenty four. For another uh, sixteen bludgeoning damage. That's why they attacked, just because I was a uh, normal, like, forest bear instead of a cave bear. Uh, they knew. <laughs> they knew something Fox. was sus. <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing to do with Fox and his pockets full of fucking gems. I'm like, wait a second, that is the wrong kind of bear! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, by the way, this, this is what cave bear is. Uh, He's spooky. Uh, eager. He gur. He's more gur than the other gur. The other one looks more like a gur. That one's a gur. The other one, one looks like he's very friendly. He <laughs> oh, it's blue. You're blue. I'm a bug. Try 
Jungle Book theme game. Yeah, this is definitely. I'm worried about going any further because I feel like we're gonna die in the next encounter. Yeah. We're fighting like two random earth elementals and they're like sending us to the graveyard. <laughs> five natural ones. We've rolled, like, almost exclusively, like, twos and fours. So it's um, not their fault, we shit. <laughs> but come on, man, stop blaming us. Like... <laughs> By the way, Emily is slow, right? Or, what was cool what? to Chris? Yeah, what? What, did, what did Cold Embrace do? Yeah. It, it, it's cold hands. Cold hands. Oh. No, it's cold hands. Is it just the version of burning hands, but it's cold? Um, hex. Oh, it's it's hex. Okay. Uh, it's cold hex. Oh, oh, cold hex. Not cold hands. Yeah, I I kept hearing different things. Like it's hex. It's cold hands. <laughs> it's cold hands. My hands were kind of clammy. I like wrapped, like I rubbed him on the earth elemental, and he became uncomfortable. <laughs> it does cold. It slows instead of causing disadvantage. He was just like, oh, shit, shit, man. I, I felt really uncomfortable. Would you not do that? Failure, <laughs> Sammy. Uh, so it's it's a very soothing back massage. It's a little chilly. Holy shit! Oh, ah, echo. Did you die here at the siren? The popo. Oh yeah, the, the popo. That's how it is. They haven't found me yet. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Man, the further we go on, the more you sound like you're coming through a radio. If I turn you up anymore, I'm gonna be deaf in the second Wait, my mic? I've my already mic. Got it with Max. Uh, yeah, you okay. get really, really quiet. <laughs> Am I still quiet right now? Yes. Yeah. I have you at 170. Uh, I mean, I don't know how to solve that. It's like putting my mic closer to my mouth. I mean, we have you boosted on Discord so we can hear you. You don't really have to. Just that you you are very quiet. Yeah. Uh, well, fuck. Well, maybe I'll have to download something for that. Or you can just go check your Windows sound options. Might just be something you accidentally, you know, you can just turn up your mic boost. Pretty sure it's not that, but I'll double check. Uh, I just want level 9 so then I can turn into a T Rex. <laughs> I have to use Polymorph for that though, so I might accidentally eat somebody that I'm not supposed to. <laughs> Because my end score drops to two. Oh no. I lose all critical thinking. Yeah, what, what, what level do you guys think that critical thinking becomes possible? I'm thinking like around like five or six. I'm not sure. Because like six is generally like around where like once you go below six, you're basically like that better? Almost, almost not human. A little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk to someone? Hit me? Hello? Hello? Yeah, it's definitely louder than it was earlier. Uh, fucking hate Windows updates. Yeah, it's, you're definitely louder than you were. Uh, it's so hard to find settings from before. It's like everything changed. Up oh, there it is. It's at 100. Mm -hmm. 
I don't, I, I don't know if it's becoming a full series, but they did a live action preview video for Way of the House Husband. <laughs> what, what is that? It's a manga about a former Yakuza who now lives in a stay-at-home and has a stay-at-home husband. That sounds pretty good, actually. It's oh, amazing! The series is great! The Searing Egg. And I'll hear him. Don't die. There you go. That's much better. It's because you switch targets. That's okay. I still <laughs> roll very bad damage. Fucking abysmal. Uh, you still manage to strike and whip off some of the rock. <sighs> well, that'd be all. Oh dear. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> oh my god. It's nice now on your facts. Rook it. Uh, well, no, I, I almost opened a cave bear. No, I am brown bear. <laughs> I need to I need to quick upgrade my step. Yeah, I, I was saying that uh that's why they attacked it. They noticed that was a brown bear, not a cave bear. They were like, that bear's wrong. You gotta take it out. Okay, anyways. I bite rock. Ooh! A 17 for 13 damage. Oh, yeah. Bat champ. And from downtown, a miss! <laughs> from downtown. Alright, well, second attack miss. Alrighty. I thought a lot, a lot. The first one, what? die if you don't add your die. Yeah, I am had precision to get the hit. Fucking of course. Oh, hey? Precision attack's so good. It is. Battlemaster is like the sweet fucking candy of fighter. It's the standing. He's ready. And with that one, <laughs> you see the earth desiccate and then finally crumble. <laughs> he would be out of your vision.
I literally rolled a 21 and a 24 and I can't re-attack. Hit me. All our luck has been filtered into you. <laughs> to Athol. And Fox. No, Waffle Miss. Emily. Emily. That will hit. Now with that. <laughs> sits there for a moment. Then finally crumbles slowly. The last pieces can't be held. Can't be held. Uh. <laughs> that fucking hurt. That's skin. Ow. Yeah. Fox goes to like adjust his snout a little bit. You can see very, very bloody now. <laughs> we should find a place to rest for a little bit. Taken care of. We did it. Um. Everybody, um, um, Fox. Fo Fox, are you alright? Uh, Holy shit. Alright. You wanted to fight things, man. It was fun. Oh, yeah, this is what normally happens, Fox. You get punched like square in the face by like some yeah. bitch ass earth elemental who just showed up. It's like, hey, fuck you. Now they're my pockets. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. You don't even need oh, to empty it. You can see like all the crystals that have been shoved into his pockets. Oh sweet. Oh, I didn't know you brought the Gatorade back. I dismiss it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, that is my girlfriend. <laughs> that actually makes it way more insidious. <laughs> you know, that would actually be really cool. Rank my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. It's yeah. that episode of uh, Futurama where Brian drinks the king of that wa those water people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. People try to assassinate him. Bring my girlfriend. That means you are my girlfriend. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Your body is made up of 90% of my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to have me inside you. Oh. So you're sitting down for an hour, taking a taking a rest and having all that good shit happen. It's amazing! The sequence even continued into you for a little bit there. Fuck. I honestly might as well just game the system in wild shape at the start of our ride. Uh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is scary. Guys, so turn cool. the game console off right now. <laughs> The fuck is going on with my health? I don't know, man. <laughs> we literally well, repeated. As we start our rest, Cave Bear will occupy a corner. <laughs> These all just game the system and get up to two wild chains. <laughs> Alrighty. has exactly my HP. It is my spirit animal. <laughs> Fox continues to search through for any other more. Collecting as much as he can. Oh, 
I continue to explore downwards. Past the rainbow crystal. That's such a rainbow crystal. Well, I mean, now that we know the elementals are hostile, who thinks that the guys are long dead? Why would you have to pass the trap? Doesn't really make much sense. I don't think I have an Earth elementals aren't smart, right? Maybe they were set to guard the pathway like the trap was. Is that it? They are smart enough. They are not like dumb as a beast, but they uh, are. They, they don't make. Like. It makes. Does it actually make sense to me that Earth elementals set traps? Or is that like. That would be an extreme. Especially for very basic earth elementals that you just saw, that's not a very likely case. And they don't. Earth elementals aren't native to like, this plane or anything, right? Uh, for depending on where they are, considering that this is a mine, it's a possibility that they've been here before. Uh, the elemental police are coming. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> but it. Is a fair commonplace that earth elementals show up in mines pending on how deep the earth goes just because elemental planes bleed over sometimes. When you get to there, roll me a dexterity saving throw. Why aren't you letting the bear go first? The bear is disposable. <laughs> so well, I mean, I'm standing uh. behind Fox, waiting for Fox to go. Ah! He's like breaking off a piece of that giant crystal. -y. Oh. <laughs> Greed! But, um, Asher, you managed to catch yourself on the wall, thankfully. As you trip. And when you kick it and step forward a little bit, you notice that if you were to fall forward, there's four daggers planted in the dirt, just a little bit with the tips out, so if you were to fall down, you'd impale yourself. Somebody clearly set up a small trip rope there. Four mundane dacas and a ten foot row. This in general, I'll be keeping my eye out for traps. What you want me to roll? So go ahead and roll me a perception. As you the end it on. even coming with us? Yeah. I remember this map. <laughs> yes. I'm currently not at the computer, but I am following. Alright. Emily is over Fox's shoulder, being carried like a maiden. Six foot Emily is carried by teeny Fox. Got impressed a lady somehow. I left. What do you bench? Five people. What? what? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> <laughs> I bench 30 dead babies. 
It's nothing. Every day. Easier than throwing a bolt of lightning. The bear has a swim speed. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Reveal do, 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 do. Yeah, which uh, especially looking around with that grab that boy just so you can see him. Which Oh Jesus He would be no bigger head. than I I I'm pressing the I hate this button. <laughs> What is that? Is that like a torso with like a head in the neck? <coughs> so that would be a Zorn. Ew. Oh my god, it's a Zorn? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. So let me... I don't know that in character, but that's still cool. Uh, Asher would recognize this. Hold on, let me just save this bed boy real quick. That is what you would see. Sexy. In which you know that they are heavily armored, being elementals that enjoy clusters of gems. Uh, Ruka, your locate object, you definitely sense it inside of that. I mean, I'm gonna tell you right now, Josh. I appreciate your incredible uh, fondness for thinking that effect is still up, but that thing faded a long time ago. It definitely <laughs> faded when I got socked. But uh, you def on a side note, you definitely see disturbed dirt paths at the end here, and across the waves over here on the other side. Does it look like it could have made those footprints? Uh, for these footprints, they are way too small for the size of this creature. Trapped, disturbed. Uh, also, after when you're looking, you can see what looks like a shredded burlap bag, the same that the miners were using for the gem transports. Oh, cool. Uh, do, I, do I know these, how intelligent these things are? Or are they just like mindless, I want to eat things? Most of the time, the, if they are in a, an environment devoid of gems, they would be fairly hungry, but you also know that they have the average intelligence of your local commoner, if not a little bit more. So they're fairly yeah. smart. And it clearly looks like somebody paid this thing off in food, equivalently. Aside from all the other food lying around, these gems that have clearly been stashed out for it. Very clearly, it finer food. Does it notice us? Doesn't seem to have taken notice of you guys at all yet. For the river itself, it's a little deceiving, but it looks like it could be 20 feet deep. And it is moving fairly rapid. Can this thing swim? Uh, for an earth elemental? No. It li literally sinks as the element it is made of rock. <laughs> It's 
some like serious hitman elimination. We lure it next to the railing and somebody runs up behind it. Push eliminate. <laughs> <laughs> Dies immediately with contact water. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just like in the Hitman game. Once you go over the railing, you, they just die, even if it was like a two-foot fall. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, that two-foot fall into waist-high water is too much for me. I'm dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, magic, but uh, that pushes me. It is not trapped. You hit an electric net that kills you instantly. No. <laughs> <laughs> an Australian man on the off the shore like lifts his hat. He's like, "It's bad season." <laughs> <laughs> so, as you approach Baruka, the uh, Zorn kind of looks to you, readies the three arms, uh, hesitant, hesitantly, obviously expecting. An animal to be an animal. I will um, sit my bare ass down. I'll look at him and then in Terran um, say, Hello, Maruka. Shale. I, I assume that was your name, Shale. <laughs> Did Rods just fucking die from that? <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> I think I got some fucking shale in my mouth. <laughs> you should visit the air elemental plane. You know, Breeze is a fucking kicker. Stratosphere. <laughs> I love all mental names. They're so funny. <laughs> you just say names because that's like random happenings or like elements. Ember. Uh, so, it looks to you quizzically, but uh, seems to relax a little bit. Are you here to send me back? back um that wasn't our express purpose for being here I despise this place I wish to return to the mercury lakes um well how do we send you back Magics. The same that brought me here. Banishment. <laughs> it would work. Let me go check the spell list. Do I even get banishment? I doubt I do. That's a fourth level spell. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even get it, so you'd have to wait a spell level. Well, I mean, if you really want it that bad. We might be able to get somebody to do it for you. Um, can I ask exactly what you're doing here? 
guarding this pass. The other said it would be helping me return. Um, can I, can I ask who put you up to it? Was it a dwarf? A black-skinned drow. I don't even know what to think of that twist. <laughs> yeah, the plot definitely <laughs> chicken. <laughs> he has a golden pet with him. Did he bring any dwarves this way? One had a uh, really nice looking pickaxe. Yes. I... not sure what pickaxes oh um I'll, I'll draw it in the dirt a little bit like there's like a wooden handle and then there's like a metal spike across it you hit rocks with it he uh looks at it I ate a fine meal that looked like this an idea of a fine meal to you? A delicious rare metal. Oh, okay, it was the metal. I thought you were just, you know, you just liked eating tools. Um, yeah, guys, uh, apparently your drow is back here. Also, um, the dwarves are probably all dead. Also, he told me he ate the pickaxe. <laughs> he camps near the other bend. Um, like down that way or this way? He uh, points to the right. The way I'm currently pointing? Yeah, because the current heads down that way. So you wouldn't mind if we like went over and talked to him, that's, that's okay with you? If you promise to send me back. Um... Can, can I promise that? Because <laughs> I don't even know, I don't even know how. Um... Well, I mean, if that's your wish, then I promise I will do everything I can to get you sent back. Okay? Roll me a persuasion real quick. He's about to, he's about to dab on me. Mm. Real bear persuasion hours. <laughs> you can tell that uh, he doesn't seem very inclined to let you buy, considering the other one promised he could do it, and he's the one who summoned him in. So he's more likely to believe the other right now. That that is fair. Man. Uh, turning back around in calm. I don't think he's gonna let us talk to the drow that us summoned to the here. He really wants to go home, apparently. No, I don't really know exactly how to do that. Check our bag. Do we happen to have a scroll of banishment laying around? Hmm. Uh, uh, <laughs> we have the balance of harmony. We have a lot of scrolls. That's for sure. I have a lot of scrolls and potions, but I don't think any of them are banishment. Wow, 
I like how we've just left like some of the stuff in here without ever doing anything with it. Like we have an entire suit of mithril armor in here. <laughs> it was the stuff we got from the temple like a long time ago when we were on the zombie island. Oh. <laughs> it was in the uh, like little like temple vault. And we literally, we, we got it, we put it in the bag, and we're just like, oh, what, what's, what's, what's this? Full suit of mithril armor? Mm -hmm. Don't anything. I like this just a random asterisk. Summons a tree underneath a feather token. <laughs> oh. All right, so what do you guys want to do? Definitely. Still has blood like trickling you down his snow. Died, dude. <laughs> I did not. I didn't even close my eyes. You thought about it. No, you did first. I saw you grabbing that pillow. It's called I'll a dirt nap. <laughs> Alright, Fox and I are in because I'm gonna use him to beat this thing senseless. <laughs> Guarantee his face breaks first. Gears up and gets ready. Well, glad it apparently doesn't speak common as we're probably discussing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it. Wait, if yeah, if it's an elemental, I don't really think it's gonna be like. Yeah, sorry, my mother made me attend common classes when I was but a small sword. <laughs> I'm bilingual. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you adventurers aren't the only people that can learn additional languages. I went to college. <laughs> They're talking yeah. about mercury lakes and shit. Yeah, one of my friends says they might be able to banish you. Um, they're over here. So, just go ahead and hit me with a, a delicious deception check. <laughs> so obviously you've, like you said, you've already. St oh my god, never. <laughs> huh? Really, realistically, Rupert definitely didn't even want to help this guy. Yeah, he's like, no. uh, just come on over here. Look, it's look in this river. What? <laughs> so. And then, uh, they're deep in the river. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll, I'll pretend to be casting a, well, I will be casting a spell, and I'll be using the next instead of management. I'll target strike. <laughs> That's a mean. I mean, it's smart. Alrighty. And then, Emily's going to push it. Give him a ball. <laughs> it has to be a. Accidentally works on strength checks, so. If it's actually. Oh, yeah. I assume it's a, it's a really strong creature, so it's probably half high save, so. I don't really I mean, know how high the strength the bear strength is, but. The awesome. bear strength is very good, it might just be better if I just tried. Jump in. 
Well, I guess, yeah, after you're done with that. Did, did you actually tell me what your plan is? I guess we can talk in common. Yeah, so. I did, I did. Okay. I did know, yeah. I you can swim, so I can talk to you with my mind. <laughs> you, you can talk to a cave bear with your mind. <laughs> I can talk to any beast elemental or aberration that can swim. <sighs> this feels you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're in my mind. Now's not the time to have a conscience, Ruka. Do it. <laughs> Alright, eliminate. <laughs> Push him into the water. <laughs> Alright, so with that. <clears throat> eliminate it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Is he just dead? He disappears down the river. <laughs> oh. That was easy. Huh. Gone, I guess. Oh, um, that's gonna come back and bite us. So, real question though, um, do they can like move through rocks, right? Like elementals can. Um, is is there a rock at the bottom of a river? <laughs> yes. You, <laughs> you would know they <laughs> <I> can. <laughs> well, let's get out of here. Uh, can I huh? So. Uh, so you can see it. It's uh, literally just past Asher, and it's now digging into the dirt. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's uh, go. Let's go. Yeah, it's digging in. Push eliminate. <laughs> <laughs> Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. It's just I assume Fox. Fox is with us. Yeah, he's with. I have a magical swim speed. Why am I not just going down the river? Uh. Look. Do you see that? It's going to stay with everyone else. It's a, it's a weasel! I like uh, weasel. Not just a weasel. I didn't know you, see, like it has a you see a giant golden weasel. Yeah, I love weasels. Looks kind of red to me. Shh, he's gold. Am I colorblind? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is orange to you. Uh, he's basically just cuddling his pet, like, feeding it gold pieces. He's, oh, he's actually awake, okay. Yep. He doesn't seem to acknowledge you guys at all. He's just sitting there. Come here. They really smell like they don't even get like normal bath water down here. Should, should we sneak up on them or? Try to. Or is him like he did the other one? What do we do here, right? What do you mean, bruise him like the other boy? The other boy was retarded. He wasn't retarded. Yeah, and he said that a drought summoned him. Yeah, this guy. Yeah. Bruce! Uh, get yeah, us close on. enough that we can hit him well. If you want me to go say hi to him, fine. Bye, Bill. Bye, bye, bye. Take a look in the water. See if that thing is still around. <laughs> so, you see a hole in the water. In the water? Holy shit! It cut the whole reality out. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you see a hole in the bottom of the river. So water, so... <laughs> huh. Well, I guess it's gone. Um, so, like, do I have, like, a foot on the side jump right there? Right there? Yes. You can see a small campfire that it's illuminating the air. Clearly the... Smell of fresh snail meat, mushrooms, and a couple of fish, as he is feeding a golden ferret gold pieces. Um, well, I mean, the 
Bear will have a seat and, um. Oh, good day to you, home. <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> so, <laughs> he immediately stands up drawing a blade. I'm just a bear. You can see he's like really confused and like double checks the mushrooms he's cooking. <laughs> And you can see, like, the ferret is, like, perfectly perched on his shoulder. And uh, Emily, go ahead and roll me a still. Oh, this is not going to go well. I'm still the ferret knows. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm still cursed. The ferret knows. Oh. Not bad, not bad. Alright, So. But he's uh he's looking around. He's very very confused at the moment. Yeah. Where did you come from? You you're not with the crew. Who are you? He starts raising a hand crossbow. I'm Ruka. Hi. You need to stay on that other side. Hey, that's a very nice ferret. Where'd you get him? Collected him from Waterdeep. Oh. They all eat gold, or is it just, uh, you know, yours? Yeah. Well, this particular kind... ...not really good at digging into vaults. They're not fond of gemstones, so if you're thinking of getting one, I could probably hook you up, but other than that, I would ask you not to make such a weird fucking entrance from now on. I do get pretty sus about it, as you can see he's like looking around now like curious like <laughs> <laughs> The talking bear is also in armor with a cake. That's why he's like super fucking on edge right now. I don't know why this bear is here and why it's talking. This bear is the most polite person I've met in two weeks. <laughs> I'm clearly high. Oh. So, is the crew you mentioned, is that all the uh, dwarves that were down here? I have no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> wow, well, that tone of voice, I don't feel like I even need to make an insight check. That sounds like he's uh, clearly lying and knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I can see he's got, like, the little weasel poised on his arm, like, ready to attack. <laughs> Glitters. <laughs> Glitters here. He doesn't seem to really like you. You can see the ferret has got all its hairs like on end, gl glittering and shining in the light. No, it's clearly because I'm not shiny enough. The animal seems to be rather biased. It just kind of like it continues to snarl and squeak at you. <clears throat> you with here with anyone? Oh yeah, what? Don't mind coming up? Just so I'm a little more comfy. Hello? Your friend, you says you're here. Come on out. Hey. That's right. Alright, alright. 
We're the sea dweller for the customers, but I'm not going to complain. Um, oh, do you sell slaves? <coughs> I sell uh, able bodied workers. Oh, fuck yeah, score! I can't believe we found a lead this easily. <laughs> Oh, we found a little. Oh, wait. So, are you like, um. So, who do you work for? Do you work for, like, a company? You look like a kind of descending type. You can call me a freelancer. Freelancing slave trade doesn't really sound like something that's very sustainable. No. I'm kind of curious, how did you get past my friend? Oh, you banish him. him in the water. <sighs> and what <with> that <laughs> comes out of all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> that eye, that eye compass is coming out so much like <laughs> <laughs> Hit one arm, two arm, three arm more. <laughs> Wait, so he is in the wall or just come out of the wall? He is literally clawing his way out of the wall. That's amazing. Earth elementals, man. Earth, I want one. He's so cool. <laughs> oh. The Twilight Emily. Oh, that's, that's a fair point. Well, if you can. Convince him to be docile when you take him home. He's going to eat me, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I feel like we might have effed ourselves over here. We are fighting a, what I assume to be some kind of drow rope. That's and, right. uh, and a Zorn. And his I, I love his pet weasel. I'm adopting the weasel. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, hashtag my weasel. <laughs> Everybody loves the giant weasel. Oh, it's giant? Well, this one, yeah. this one's a little more custom. <laughs> it's not just a... Custom weasel. <laughs> it's not just a giant weasel. It's a giant weasel. <laughs> Hit designer pet. Check out its spoiler. <laughs> Custom it like a Yeah, it does. I mean, maybe this guy's into that, you know? Strictly uh, reason. What? You don't like the one? Name him Amethyst because there's nothing around. He isn't colored purple, though. No, it's fine. Fuck everybody. <laughs> yeah, alright then, well. A designer pet coat. <laughs> a solid gold weasel. As far as you can tell, that weasel is solid gold. He said it was perched on his arm. It is. I mean, it's animated. Uh, no. Oh, that means also it probably isn't even an animal, so I probably couldn't even. Mm. There's one thing in D&D &D is the abnormalities of everything. <laughs> Nobody ever expected the Zorn to come out of the wall. No, I like that. That was good. <laughs> How'd you get past my friend? Well, you see... SHIT! <laughs> Fox. Eliminate him. On it. <laughs> Lo loads up boomerang. Yeah, why doesn't Fox have a trench coat full of boomerangs? Giant weasel. 
Oh my god. Did we saw the sword. I am. <laughs> you should stop the sword. I have one. I have one. Oh wait, that me. Oh. Captain Boomerang is here. Okay, I hit him. Or do you? Wait. Both will hit! Good, because that means I can just hit him again. Oh, yeah, you. Great. Master. <laughs> Master. <laughs> Master. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. That's the first time I've ever used this, so bear with me. Uh, Ooh. Like no, that one. Wait, I can have. I don't know what I can do with this bonus attack. You can add superiority to dice? Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can. I can add superiority to it. Yeah, it's yeah, still an attack. attack. Alright, fuck it. Let's see if I can get it. Nope, that's no. a little oh <laughs> You push it! <laughs> you push it a little harder. There's a line now above where you're struck. <laughs> You struck him. But he's not angry with you. He's angry with the bear. Uh, yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> you betrayed me. So, one, two, three, and four. Time, I, I have the math right this time. The giant, the, this bear has two, one. This bear has. 16 AC. I had a uh, one off earlier. Alright, so two of the three claws will hit. For 15 damage as he starts trying to tear into you. <laughs> you are going to send me back? Treasure! I will rip you down and bury your corpse in the earth. Bury. Uh, Asher. <laughs> Oh shit. Hexy boy. I love it. How did this happen? How did that happen? I'm not sure. Seems intent on fucking with people. I have never seen that before. Uh, twenty, one hundred and twenty feet. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do my normal scorching ray. Yeah. Haunt. Oh my god. Yep. Uh, Three should be. Hit. Uh, the fifth. Or well, the fifteen will hit. Um. Or oh, sorry, no, it will not actually. My bad. The 15 will miss. But the natural 20 will make up for that. I actually don't know if they have the modifiers. They, they have charisma to your attack. They don't get yeah. the bonuses. No, no, I, I, don't, I don't know if the 20 and the 15 have modifiers. Because I can't hover. So. I don't think those were rules. I think that was like a glitch. That looks really weird. Yeah. yeah that's, that's the there you go. There you go. All of those will hit. So, So after all that, he is looking very badly hurt after that. <laughs> fucking reeling back at this point. Oh, God!
guess we do kind of have this Zorn to deal with right here. He came out screaming, TRAITOR! I mean, yeah, like I said, understandable, have a nice day. <laughs> um, let's bite him. Oh, it just <laughs> definitely hits. Then the claw. Oh! oh. Hey, this combat has gone so much better! You're gonna try and get the fuck out of here, ASAP. With glitters. Ah, bitch. <laughs> we can all swim down river, you're only going to make this harder on yourself and you'll drown. And then he's gonna take two shots at Asher for blasting him so hard with his bow. His crossbow. Plink, plink. Oh my god. So, a 24 and a crit. <laughs> and make me two constitution saving throws. Yep, Asher. Alrighty, so you will take... <laughs> 25 damage. And immediately... Fall asleep. <laughs> the, the twenty five damage and then also passing out, so you are effectively unconscious as this man is now getting the boat to basically. Yeah, it's an automatic failure. Yeah. So, and then. How much health do you have? It's 27. I have 10 temporary hit points. Oh, okay. And. Fox a lot. <laughs> you have more than I do. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I have 14. Uh, Emily! Make him sopa. No, I really like his weasel, but it's still his weasel, so fuck it. I cast Falling Bolt on him. No idea. Wow. Look at those ones! What the oh, fuck is wrong with your spells tonight? need to stop casting. This is clearly a sign. <laughs> uh, he'll take five damage. Does he hit a uh, fucking 18 with a sexy drow ability? Well, actually, let me double check. Uh, I don't know how well it'll affect the bolt, but I mean... Actually, yeah, no, he would, he would take no damage from that because he fucking succeeded. Rogue, baby! Thunder! Uh, Alrighty. Can't save for the weasel. The weasel will fail. Vivify the weasel! Clear! Oh no! Oh, you killed the weasel! Yes! <laughs> Was innocent. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, follow up 
the water will rise up and strike him as well. I'll draw it in after I do the attack. No, it won't. Whack! It did not. It was not very good. No success. Is that some Gatorade? into earth again. I mean he turned into ground. Is the pickaxe there? It is. Yes! It's mine! Wait. I did say it was his. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, I was just happy that it's there because I thought it was cool. <laughs> no, that's fair. I mean, I can't really see through the bear. I mean, you can see over the bear and you can go through the bear's space. The bear will not stop it. Go through the fluff! Like, the bear is big, but he's big, like, you know, horizontal, and not really as much vertically. You're also pretty short, though, so... Yeah. <laughs> That's a very, very artsy time of the place, Jeff. I was thinking that. I was just watching it get drawn up. Tentacool, tentacool, tentacool. it'll probably be relevant to jumping into the water. On your turn, you always move the distance that your highest speed would allow you if you can utilize it. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, Telrath would use all 50 of his flying movement, even if he only flew like 10 feet. Because I know you're probably just swimming to some. Just keep swinging me. Just keep swinging. Oh, that's my turn. Oh. Alright, uh, Asher, you are having the schnoze. Ruka. Bear time. <laughs> How far can Cave Bear swim? Ooh, Cave Bear got good swim speed. Um, Cave Bear is going to jump into the water. Um, sorry. <laughs> Spy! 10, 15. Are we like, get pushed closer because Bear jumps in and create waves? <laughs> no. Oh, gosh. No. <laughs> Damn. So that'll be 20 feet. And Somehow that's anchored in the water. Then. 30 feet. Um, I'd like to just, uh, since I can't really reach him with my attack, I'd just like to grab onto the boat. Let that, let it go! <laughs> Look, buddy, we can talk or, um, or we can kill you. You can choose one or the other. Alright, see, so you hold it on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, he's gonna try and pop off on you. Yeah, that's good. Uh, first one will hit the bear for 19. Roll me a con save as you take 6 piercing damage. Well, this could be, this could be potentially bad for the bear's health. Oh, never mind. You, you are awake. And then the second shot. Hit okay, with a 21. Roll me one more con save. Or another 10 piercing damage. Alright, you are still awake. As you. I'm still woke. <laughs> He's, he's, you're still holding on to it. He's uh, starting to back away now. <laughs> Get away from me! You're all freaks! I'll keep telling you, we're gonna kill you if you don't surrender. <laughs> like wedges into this corner here. Sociopath. <laughs> Fo sociopathic. He admitted to being a slaver. <laughs> Fox picks up the pickaxe. Goes over here and starts whacking a crystal. <laughs> <laughs> I admire his his moxie. Huh. Anyway. Okay, I move up a bit. Uh, I'll just come up to the shore. Check 
chase him down. Man. Please. Ah. I'll hit him. Okay, he takes uh, seven lightning damage. Yeah. He's looking even worse for wear. I'll just have to draw him in. Oh, you yank him in. Four. He is barely alive. Yes, I have yanked him. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I used to look. Not at all for you. Easy. <laughs> Just going to get up here as I'm running. Roka, keeping black. I mean, whatever. Kill him if you want. I was giving him an option. <laughs> He's. <laughs> he is looking very. <laughs> Fully fucking attack him. <laughs> oh my god. What crash? With a lot of gusto, alright? I non lethally attack him. <laughs> alright. He is fucking out. <laughs> alright, that is. No, I've got some rope. Can I tie him up when the initiative appears? It is. Oh well. I'll go climb up. Did I feel myself getting poisoned? Oh, you felt it. You felt like how. Basically, it's like you got shot by a tranquilizer dart. Like, you felt your eyes get heavy for a moment. Asher? Slap Asher's face a little bit. Asher. better just because of the lighting in the cave and like the reflection in the crystal. It's very atmospheric, you know. Alrighty. Um, we caught the drow, dude. Um, you alright? <laughs> you, got, you got shot a little bit. That's, that's pretty deep. I'm gonna turn back into a bear. <laughs> Just I turned out of a bear because I was gonna have to give her him. I keep <laughs> her character image looks so much like a woman hit every time. Hey. Around on your back. I mean, the bear will allow it as long as you know you're cool riding a scary looking bear. Straddle that bear. If I check on the weasel, is it dead? It is very dead. So dead. That's disappointing. I thought he was cool. He is. Uh, was it actually an actual beast? Oh, so I could actually turn into him later. You can give it a try. You're not sure how well it would turn out for you. You can tell that these creatures are definitely unnatural and have a normal, well, a normal part of them that is of the arcane, where they eat gold, and their fur is made entirely of gold. 
The fur on it is actually so strong it could be used for needlepoint. I'm a dead weasel into your bag of holding. Hey, dead <laughs> golden <laughs> weasel. <laughs> the golden snitch. You that's there before it fucking rots. Alright. Pulls out a fucking quick. fetid mess. <laughs> 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 what the fuck was this? Have, like, Just like gold hairs. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Just pull out like gold hairs and like a wet sloppy mess later. Alrighty. Barrel squeeze over so more space for the So, as you shift through his assorted pack, aside from the mushrooms, the snail, the fish, and other things that he's collected and you know, sal you know foraged and salvaged from around here, you definitely see that there are some pythons, others that are daggers that were being sharpened, uh, other pythons that are being sharpened into daggers for more traps, a three pair bundle of rope, a couple of trap tools, obviously the daggers that you had run into earlier, Asher, were definitely set up by this point, <laughs> uh, but as you also start to look at it, you can see that the various drugs that he has with him for basically knocking people out as demonstrated to Asher and also to a little bit of Baruka even though he was able to withstand it I wouldn't explain this to how he would be able to transport or capture said dwarfs even if they are resistant to it with a particular kind he would probably be able to trap them or even weakening them and separate them which is a good inclination to do the mind collapse as you look at some of the other pieces of equipment, it's very clear that he was not alone when doing such things. You can tell he was preparing for more than two or three others to return to this area and assist him. As you look at the other various pouch pouches that he does have, you can see what looks like a couple of other gems that have been hand selected kept out from the gem bag that was eaten by the Zorn. You do find three topazes worth 200 gold and one diamond worth 100. You could tell that he had clearly robbed whoever he kidnapped. As for his weaponry and equipment, he does have a shield, a, sword, a short sword, studded leather armor, a handy dandy hand crossbow, he's actually got two of those. And a pouch of 30 gold that has nibble marks all over it, clearly from when he was feeding his ferret. The other effects that you would find inside the boat itself. Ten pairs of manacles, extra rope some chains attached to said manacles so they would not be able to escape <laughs> as well as a request for another digger team of ten a note last not good like is it written in dwarvish? Uh, for the note itself, it's just written in common. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, you know, um, should we wake him up and uh, question him? On the... Sure. To grab one of the poisonous daggers and hold it to my throat, shall we? <laughs> Accidentally pokes him, falls asleep again. <laughs> Um, 
All right. below zero hit points. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Dies. Um, I don't understand. He, wait, no, wait. He, I want to feed him potion 46. Oh, no. Are you serious? Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, it's a potion of healing, but number 46. Alright, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna walk. Consequence. Healing. Oh, no, you're, you're giving. <laughs> take, your, take your chances against the table. Look, Maybe if it dies, then whatever. I just get what I wanted. That is true, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for it to give him a wish. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. You know, a wish that kills all of them. <laughs> No, I'm fine. Early campaign. Alright, I've feed uh, some potion. And I deleted it from my inventory. Uh, so, go ahead and roll 2d4 plus 2. Oh. Alright, so here you gain 6. Uh, roll me 1d4. Alright. And then roll me one D three. <laughs> Alright, so you give him this really bad <laughs> You give him this potion as he wakes up immediately. <laughs> as he's looking around looking fairly pained and painful. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking around like, uh, did you give me? Oh, uh, healing. Uh. Yeah, it's better what you tried to give me a minute ago with those, you know. Joe, shoot. I would just put you to sleep. <coughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I know. Actually, good job. <laughs> so anyways, um, who do you work for? I don't know what you mean. <sighs> Look man, I'm talking there, okay? <laughs> We're both the way you sound slaves. Do you sound like Hogan? Or uh, Red Clothes? Uh, you can see he's like sweating and trying to focus a little bit. Uh, I take requests from both sides, but I have a particular collector who pays me in advance sometimes. I mean, wait around and ask him. Mean? Really fucking mean? It probably, probably fucking gut me for even getting caught anyway. <laughs> Got a name. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm dead if I give it to you. You're dead anyway, you got caught. Ah, uh, but you still don't know what you need to know. And what do we need to know? His name, his looks. Who the buyer is? Who set up this sweet little operation for me and my friends? Oh, do you want to know something really funny, my friend? Um, I'm a face changer. I can just steal your appearance and just become you. So I mean, you, can, you can talk or you can not. Be entertaining to see how far you get before you hit a good couple of arrows in your knee and face. You're really hyping this guy up. I mean. No, I'm talking about my friends. Oh. Alright. Oh, so anyways. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, you keep talking to him, I'm gonna start cutting his hair. What the fuck? Yeah, uh, so when, when you see the like, slaves, do you even see any of them, like, weird, like, shackles? There's two of them. With your friend? 
Yeah. So they were a special order. Oh, oh, now we have to meet him. <laughs> I mean, I can set you up if you like. The price of my life. <laughs> My loyalty. A pretty volatile market right now. I can't say that. I mean, I didn't shoot you on sight, even though I thought I was tripping on mushrooms again. I mean, I was just a friendly bear, you know? A talking bear, though. Yeah. Um. Guy, anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just realizing how fucking irritating it's gonna be because we're gonna have to go find this other guy. We're gonna have to go beat him nearly to death to get him to tell us where he wants the slaves from. Which, I mean, you'll kind of already know the answer to. I'm sorry, I'll give us more So did you, did you kidnap one Yeah. Oh, I just realized what that note was. It was it was an acquisition order from more dwarf slaves. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it took me that long. <laughs> so after realizing that, you see Ashlyn like grab the tip of his ear and was purposely and just. Shh, ah! Roll a, roll, roll a d4. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so they got us four of the six that you gave them back. <laughs> fuck! 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 Wow. Oh damn, I slipped. Yeah, looks like your finger slipped, unfortunately. I can believe that. Do you want this back? <laughs> he just turns and. BLEH! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Do you have any retirement plans for draft slavers? Like, what, what do you think about, like, when you don't work and do you, like, go home to a mushroom house? I think about retiring to a beach with big titty women smothering my face every day and sucking my cock. They have beaches down here? <laughs> Not down here, you fucking bear. Down. Up there. And, like, just a little nudge towards the. Outer caves. Uh. <sighs> Alright, then what do you all think? Do very clearly we accidentally found an actually good lead. Yeah, I mean, if we do kill him, we probably won't be able to find the uh, other guy very easily, but... Um... We should keep him. It. He'll be fun to play with. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, also, I mean, I could offer you the other deal, where um, we kill you or we turn you over to the Dwarven authorities. I would very much prefer that, uh, yeah. Well, neither of those. I say we... I mean, you can get the chance to defend yourself in the <laughs> completely fair salt marsh court of law. Tell you, immediately just starts gritting his teeth. All right, so what do you want? Um, we want to know where you meet the uh, the other guy who has the golden shack of slaves. He never gave me a name, but I can tell you how to beat him. You go, I'll just dress up as you. You're going to need the chest from the boat. He's always very particular 
about what test transports he's using. If you're going to go down the river out to the main ocean, you probably want to take that boat. You're going to meet up with him near the base of the haunted mansion on the overlooks just before Salt Marsh. Once you're there, he'll give you a signal light four times. Enter into the cave. He'll be waiting with the cages or for a request and deal. Obviously, you probably want to bulk up a little bit and add some branches or some shit and make sure that it looks like you have people to deliver, since that's what he's awaiting this time. Um, what do you usually dress your slaves in? Do you, like, put them in shabby rags or is it just the clothes they're called? Roll persuasion. I mean, yeah, I guess I didn't really give him a very good deal, did I? Mm -hmm. I'm very charismatic, so I'm a good well, compare. Well, he, he tell, especially between having his ear cut off and the fucking puking his brains out and constantly sweating like he's probably going to continue barfing or shit himself. <laughs> he uh, looks at him. I usually go on this. Not very inconspicuous, really, but uh, not a lot of people are very keen to <laughs> come through with a drow on the shores. But uh, usually I just cover over the people who are transporting. What the fuck did you give me? Um, yeah, sorry about that. Um, I make potions, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I fucking uh, I usually just throw a blanket over there and keep them sedated with the drugs alright yeah that works ok come on guys we're selling this draw to this guy uh, uh, and you can tell he's like about to say something, but then he just like clambers up after he like looks at Afflin again and thinking about his ear that's not <laughs> part of his ear that's not missing. Oh no, I want to hear what you have to say, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest plot twist of the century <laughs> come to a slave trade with a drowned slave. <laughs> Perfect, I love it. Uh, one is the chunk surprise. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fed my awful <laughs> I, made, I, made I didn't have to hurt yeah. him. Yeah, whatever. Let's go. Out of gun! Yeah, come on, it? Fox. Can you go kill some slavers? <laughs> hey, Fox, I got his ear for you. You hungry? I am! Actually, I won't. I won't untransform yet because I just remembered Fox is probably going to start to drown in the river. Drow Jackie. You gotta get to here and he's actually going to leap across to the other crystal. Oh, never mind. He's he Gucci. He's small. He edge Yeah. He Dixie boy. But, uh. Yeah. Alright. Um, I'll cut you a deal, Mr. Drow. Um, if we do manage to uh, get the information we need, um, I'll let you be tried in a court. <coughs> touch you again. I like the sound of that. And I would like and to also, like, I'll even put a good word with the guard captain you are cooperative. You might not die. I would enjoy that. And uh I would like to stand, but he kind of tied me the fuck up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you don't get that. Come on. Alright. Uh, he, he like scooches around like he knows the drill for you to like grab his hands and drag him. <laughs> yes, I dragged him. Alright. <laughs> and I toss foxies. Fox doesn't actually waste any time. He like goes over, toasts it a little. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, what? 
but it's not like I threw his arm in the fire and just let it burn. I just wasted this time. Jeez. That, that is like that is so metal. You you cut off a dude's ear and then you feed it to your friend in front of him. <laughs> We're we all even gonna fit in this boat. Mm, no. It's I mean, bigger. It's bigger than it looks. Bigger on the inside. <laughs> We're Doctor Who in this bitch. Boys. Yeah, uh, I can't believe fair. we accidentally lead into a lead. To be fair, we are not five foot cubes. Yeah, that is true. Definitely not even five foot, so... We can control the combat situation. Yeah. Okay, um... Let's get low and uh, get underneath uh, this blanket, so we can pretend to just be him, and I'm gonna just turn into him, in case he does this through spyglass or something. Easy. Alrighty. So... I don't think I'm that stupid. That's good. Cause you're sticking with me for now. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, lost safety. Oh, hey, yeah, I met a follower of Loth once, the dead. That's a good story. Yeah, it is. I met a lot of bears when hunting, they're dead too. Yeah, you know I'm not really a bear, right? I kind of figured that uh, yes, they're not that smart. Well, be nice now. Yeah, I have a couple chickens at home that are probably smarter than you. <laughs> bully, bully, bully. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, see, he just leans over and like parks on the corner floor. <laughs> Potion of blindness, deafness, or poison. <gasps> nice. For one d four hours. Oh, that was an hour. So I feel bad for him. So one hour of puking his brains out. Point of heavy dry heaving. I begin. We begin the rowing outside. As you row off in the midst of the day. Heading to the base of the haunted house. Yeah. Oh, that was the dude looking through the windows of this shit. <laughs> wow. Ash was right there or something there. I think we did we all see it? We just, no, none of us gave a shit. Mm hmm. <laughs> Still known to be not the haunted house. Honestly, I just assumed it was that, like, some like the last fucker we met in there just being a cunt. No, they're definitely Four transparent. Yeah, they definitely were. I was right back. After. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for him to get back. Definitely not gonna get trialed and sung. You go get dab a donkey dunk. Spiders. Oh, that's Asher. No, I mean spiders. Loth is the spider queen. Welcome back. Just discussing. <laughs> just discussing the semantics of um, drow death and where they go in the afterlife. I mean, they become Loth's uh, spider bushes. See? Spider <laughs> bitches. 
<laughs> Spider bitches! Mm. Loth is a cunt, and the drow mm. are made cunts by Loth's influence. It's a, it's a circle. <laughs> it's a circle. The circle of life. Don't mind me being a fucking one. Local group engages in slave trade to catch bigger fish. Saigon <laughs> comments there's always a bigger fish. The king of Saigon is dead. He didn't exist anywhere. You're just enjoying that echo so fucking much, are you? Yeah, yes I am. Ray who? Ray looks around and smiles. I beat the Ray Ray Binks. <laughs> that, that's a way better ending. I'm going to kill everyone for that. I didn't do anything. You would thank Rozzy for that. I was just... just gone. No. Everyone dies. Aww. The mention of Ray has upset me greatly. Damn. <laughs> Bitches. Bitches. <laughs> Ray. You know, I was just thinking we were just going to be able to find this dude, but I'm glad that we kept him alive and managed to convince him to tell us, because we would never have found this dude otherwise. Oh, hell no. Alrighty, so. As you get out towards the haunted house, you can see the familiar cave that you saw before. And up on the edges of the cliffs, you see a signal light. Flashes four times. Enter the cave. So you gotta enter on in. See someone standing there in a red cloak waiting for you. Oh, they're even in the red cloak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Up the red cloak. Oh. Rauru can stand up and stretches. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Did you hear what? Some of what we requested, Niltst. Oh, that was my name, yeah. I guess I've got to ask that. Anyways, oh, yeah. um. The sun realization, I'm like, oh shit, we didn't even get his name. <laughs> talking out loud because he doesn't care, he's ready to start fucking killing. <laughs> so, um, how much slay did you guys get a day? Like, five, ten? I want to know, like, market value. You know that offer still stands if you want to get on board the ship. I can't tell you anything no. else out beyond that until you actually sign the contracts with us. Yeah, you know, I mean, honestly, I think I'm kind of interested in the contract. I mean, like, freelance work hasn't really been working out for me lately. I mean, I got myself a quite the bind. You know, I'm thinking that it might be beneficial if I entered into a more permanent arrangement. Your heavy deception. <laughs> <laughs> A heavy deception. <laughs> yes. Considering how much you're always talking about retiring, I'm surprised that you're actually thinking of doing a long-term contract. Yeah, dude. How, am I, how else am I supposed to afford living on the beach with big titty women? Like. I gotta pay those women to be around me. You, you heard me talk? 
<laughs> uh, what do you got so far, anyway? <sighs> yeah, well, I mean, we have one drow, um, several armed and dangerous individuals also in the boat. What? Is he like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, meet my doppelganger. This is also me. <laughs> is everyone still hiding at this point? <laughs> yeah, no, I stand up. Hi, I'll be your today. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hell of an entrance. <laughs> a... I think we got this, honestly. Well, I I sure oh, I'm ready to kill. Yes. Yeah, I assume we did. It was probably pretty leisurely rowing. Help, I've been tangled up stupid blanket we were covering ourselves with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Come on. Wait, roll caffeine, get out of here. him to the other person that looks exactly It's really funny, but honestly, Gromwood had a higher intelligence than I do. Oh, well, yeah, then what I say makes sense. But he would never have gone. Exactly. He's actually smarter than I am. Smart boy. Smarter than the average, the average bear. bear. <laughs> Good job. I have a nine. I have a seven. Nine? Nine, 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 nine! <laughs> Coming in high on this boy. Baruka. Uh, no. I'm so ready to kill. Alrighty, that 23 definitely hits. That 15. Alright, so you slash into this boy. And hear the heavy. I just like move up so he can't have on me. <laughs> and you hear the heavy clatter of plate armor. Realize that this boy oh, is a, a dragonborn. I mean, he looked like a dragon when he had his hood up. I'm rescinding my formal contract offer, by the way. I'll see you in hell. <laughs> Wait, why are you going to I'm not. <laughs> then how are you going to see him, there? <laughs> this guy. This just sounded cool, okay? <laughs> Play your travel, of course. Finally go to the lower planes. God. Yes. Yeah, we'll take a to hell. So... Oh, fuck. So, as he immediately fucking just get, gets ready and pulls out a spear. <laughs> Not if I send you into the dirt first! And both will miss. Horribly! Asher. Uh, the 21 will hit. <laughs> so, 11. Alrighty. Then Fox. Seventeen will miss. The twenty-four what? Nine piercing. And then 
and he will do the scooch. Ethel, 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 Ethel. Definitely hits, Jesus. Hey. Damage. Damage. <laughs> Alright, girl. He is already looking pretty beaten up from that. Emily, finish him. <laughs> Definitely it. Yes. It will be lightning damage. He's looking pretty beat down after that. Um, I'm gonna go turn back on advantage for the bear because it doesn't have it on by default. General options. Uh, wait, advantage toggle. Where is the advantage toggle on the bear sheet? Oh, oh wow, that looks really weird. Okay, I found it. <laughs> wait. I think that's enough. I'll just hit. He's only got plate armor on. No. Oh, that'll clatter off of his armor. I am done. All right, righty. Zanpos is going to put one into Fox, Eth, and the Bear. Hi, hi. So, Bear. Yeah. All will miss. My god. The rolls there. Wait, yeah. he missed me? I wish to smack him. Oh no. I would like to use my repulsed reaction. Please, no. Please, no? <laughs> please. No, please, yes. Ah! Definitely hits. I get the air. It goes Oh. Take my oh. damage, bitch. <laughs> He's looking like he's about to fall. Asher, yeah, sure. finish him. Did he, not hit me at all? he didn't hit anyone with that one. Oh no! Unfortunately, both of those will off of the armor. Why just slurp your soul? Alrighty. Will Fox kill Steel? Yes. Of course he will. So with that eager and finally able to get the chance to kill again. Cuts down the back of his leg and then shoves it right into his fucking neck. <laughs> nice. Die. Nice. No. All right. All right. Got any food? Oh. Obviously, pop armor and the weapon. Yeah, plate armor's worth a lot. He dropped some sick loot right there. Yeah. Plate armor is still like 500 gold, even at base normal. Silver fucking chest. Uh, 
I will drag the drow out of him today. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Tough day. You really don't need to ever make another potion again, my fucking god. No, I think he does. Moth, oh, help me. I mean, the last, the last, you know, person I gave a potion to, they really liked it. It was probably the good one. Probably, yeah. <sighs> yeah, anyways, um, I'll just lean up against this wall. Uh, if you manage to skip by the time we get back, congratulations. If not, uh, the deal still. Come on, everybody, we got some uh, useless people to kill. So just attack me. With that. With that, I think we'll leave off there. Few, few more pieces to prepare. But yeah. we're going in reverse through the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's not the way he plays. Me? Uh, no, I just. We're back. We're back. Well, I thought we'd be busted our operation once. <laughs> were they? Were the bandits in the red cloaks the first time we were here? The, uh, I don't remember who the first group was. <laughs> the dudes that were here the first time, were they in red cloaks? I don't remember them ever having. The uh, red cloaks, they did not have them here. So obviously okay. they found out the smuggling convention that was going on here was cleaned out. <laughs> well, decided to make use of it. We're burning down this house when we're done here. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Nobody else gets to use this house with cave access. <laughs> Pretty decent. Sealed in. <laughs> no, let me out. <laughs> oh, I can I can just go through the wall. Never mind, I won't do that. <laughs> I thought you really sealed me. <laughs> Nailed stool. Lean up against the wall. Sick as a dog. Zan Post is fucking dead as fuck. That looks like we're summoning a bear. Zan Post? Is that the name of the Dragonborn? Yep. I feel like we've met him before. That name sounds really good. Yeah. Probably ever used the name. Yeah, maybe. So is there anything else on him, or just his fucking armor and weapon? Armor, like, weapon, couple manacles, couple keys. Well, I'm taking his cloak, actually, because this could be used integrate into scares. Yes. I'll stuff that into a bear pocket. <laughs> oh, dude just wanted to retire to big titty women on beaches, man. Well, beaches. I think I'll get to retire to a prison full of um, not big tittied men. <laughs> <sighs> There's a lot of big other things there that nobody wants. <laughs> Yeah, I hear they serve some pretty big kill boss of that shower. Sausage! <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. I hear it's a full serving, more than you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> you need two hands to handle it. Yeah. I'm have you eat in a strange position. <laughs> it's usually on your knees with the hands behind your head. Strange. <laughs> Strange indeed. <laughs> Wait, uh, get you guys XP. <laughs> oh, fuck. Is that how you were expecting that to turn out? Not at all, actually. <laughs> it's quite. Awesome. So happy with us. 2,250. Yeah. Uh, 2,000. That's a lot, actually. Those are those stupid rocks we had to fight. You were rocking and rolling. <laughs> Down to the beach, I'm strolling. <laughs> oh my god. If we brought one of those dimensional shackles here, we could plant them. <laughs> I 
can't wait for the special order slave to be like just some insane creature. I shall return shortly. Enter the special room. Where you will be shacked up with shackles for days. Shackles. Love oh, shack, yeah. baby. <laughs> oh, shack. Yeah.